It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we have a Marks and Spencer's Christmas Ale. Now, this beer was out last year. But I didn't see it because I went for the, they had a big bottle, a 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, it was in a box of like a kind of like a special Christmas beer and I thought oh that's the one for me for Max and Spencer and what I forgot to do last year was have a general look around their normal beer aisle and see what they had so I missed this last year so I'm glad I went back to Max and Spencer's this year with it in mind thinking I need to go and find this and see what it's like it's their Christmas ale it's by Adnams or brewed by Adams Brewery for Marks and Spencer, described as festive and fruity. It's 4.2% ABV. It's got a silver bottle cap. It's more or less a very dark, dark brown bottle. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Adams brew some fantastic beer. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a good premium ale at £2.50 a bottle. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Good bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Look at this. Whenever you think Christmas, whenever you think Christmas beers, they're always dark, aren't they? They're always kind of like almost stout, like porter, like dark ale, ruby ale. Festive and fruity, winter spices, and I think, I think the whole idea of winter spices and and kind of like those sorts of things, it's just to kind of, I mean, we've had an awful twenty twenty three. We've had an awful autumn so far, especially if you live in South Wales, well, all over the UK really. It hasn't stopped raining. It hasn't stopped raining. Literally, finish the garden out there. Literally, mid September. And almost as soon as I put my trowel down, it started to rain. And it haven't stopped for like six weeks, six or seven weeks. And I think when you live in northern climates like this, winters are long. Winters are long, long, long. Almost you get to the point, you get to end of February, and you're wondering if it's ever going to end. And you're almost like, you're almost like giving into it type of thing. But I think this is what these style of beers are all about. They're all about kind of... Adding, you know that, that term, adding some spice to your life. Um, it's all about, like, winter's bland, but your food and drink doesn't have to be bland either, does it? There can be a little bit of kind of magic about it. And I think that's why you see a lot of kind of, like, Christmas for one. There's, there's a reason really why it's, 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 it's smack bang in the middle of winter. It's because... You know, we need something to look forward to, don't we? If you, if you if you were to just go into October thinking, oh, I can't wait till March, April, pff, you're never going to get that, are you? You're never going to get there. So something comes along in the middle, just to cheer your spirits up, and you're halfway there type of thing. So winter spices are there to kind of like just chirp you up a bit, pick you up a little bit. Like, like, like that old saying goes, add some spice in your life. So it looks a decent, a decent, decent beer, a decent beer, amber in colour. There's no sediment in that, although is there, is there? You know, there is, it, unless, no, it's carbonation. It's carbonation, it's little bits of carbonation. I thought it was a little bit of sediment there from Adnams. I was thinking, ooh, you never see that from Adnams. Good looking beer, one finger tan coloured hair. Let's get the aroma. Big, malty, biscuity brew. Some roasted malt in there. Little bit peppery, little bit spicy. Oh, that smells fantastic. Some caramel malt in there. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. That's a great quality beer.
that really is a great quality beer. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. The body on that beer is fantastic. You really get the biscuits coming through. You get that the lovely malt flavours coming through. It's still a bit crisp. It's still a bit refreshing. But you get all of those lovely kind of... It's like giving you a hug from the inside. It's like giving you a hug from the inside out. Fabulous, fabulous beer. I really like that. That's right up my street. Look at that beer. Look at that. And it's doing exactly what I just said. The rain's still drizzling on the roof. It's wet outside, but I'm standing here with a smile on my face, drinking something really, really nice. Really nice. Nutty, biscuity, bready, creamy, rich mouthfeel, hoppy, peppery, spicy, bitter. I think they've been quite clever actually with this beer. There are some kind of spices in this beer, but I think it's generally just a really good quality malt ale. It, it, it's got some big, creamy, thick malt flavours going on in here. Great mouthfeel. And they've just, they've just added some kind of, almost like a load of bitter in hops. And they've made it really nice and bitter. So it's almost like they've given you this illusion that there's a ton of winter spices in this beer. But really, if I'm honest, there's probably a lot to do with the hops they've added in the, in, into the beer. And the fact that it's really kind of bitter, lovely bitterness to it. There is some pepperiness, there is some spiciness, but as with every dark beer, that's the case. The best thing to do is read the back of the bottle here and see. Water, malted barley, roasted rye, hops and yeast. I'm right. I'm absolutely right here in saying, let's go through it. There's no spices in water, of course. There's no spices in malted barley. Roasted rye? Yeah, that's definitely kind of like more... That gives off a spiciness. But there's no spices added to, to roasted rye. I can assure you of that. Hops. Use enough hops. They're going to give you that illusion of kind of peppery spiciness. If you hear me talking about that all of the time on the channel. And yeast. And yeast. So... Festive and fruity, they've called it, but festive and fruity by using Adnam's experience in brewing, using the right malts, using the right hops. Wonderful, wonderful. They, they've created here a great Christmas beer without all of your kind of orange peel and all of those kind of like cinnamons and stuff. This is just a great, solid British dark ale that they would have brewed for the last couple of hundred years. So I'm going to rate this. It looks fantastic. Look at that beer in the glass. It's got a great ABV at 4.2% ABV. You could buy four of those. Happy as Larry. Looks good, smells good. Lovely biscuity malt aromas coming through, and it tastes great. Some licorice in there. That is very, very clever from Adnams. That's a very, very clever beer. Um, I reckon if you didn't know too much about beer, and somebody bought you that for Christmas, and you just read the front of the label, and come on, let's be fair, that's most of us. Festive and fruity. You're going to be thinking, oh, that's a lovely Christmas beer. When essentially, Adnams have just used all of their brewing experience here. And they've produced a really good dark ale with peppers and spices from the hops, the malt, the yeast and the water. <coughs> very good. Very, very good beer. Very intelligent brewing here. 
9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.